What were you thinking? With, With Aaron and Scott. Real talk behind closed doors. It's not just about stupidity, but everything else that comes with it. High octane, energy driven, in your face. Get ready. It's Aaron and Scott. Oh, is tonight going to be a good night show? Welcome to What Were You Thinking? The show that gets to the core of why we do what we do. And uh, Scott, I'm thinking we should change the show to... Uh, what were you wearing? No, what, what was I thinking about doing a show in my underwear? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Talk this way. I can hear you better. Scott, how yes. come you're not wearing your underwear? No, no, you're you're good enough for you know both what? of us, buddy. I, this is uh, Underwear National uh, Appreciation or Awareness Day. <laughs> of course it Jamal, is. Jamal, you wearing your underwear? I always wear my right. underwear. And he has <laughs> clothes on, too. I hope everybody's wearing their underwear right now. Of course they are, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. The men in the white coats are on their way. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I, I Actually, I like this. This is more... Uh, feel more free well yeah of course you should you're naked <laughs> jesus christ what's next no there is a reason why i'm wearing my underwear jamal we're gonna just keep conversation between <laughs> ourselves we'll let this insane guy just sit naked and diddle his thumbs no there, there is no there is there is a point why i'm wearing my underwear and uh, we have a great show we have why uh, is that point tell everybody well our guest coming on, she is a celebrity uh, chef. Her name is Susan Irby, uh, the Bikini Chef. Uh, she has a talk radio show, her own show, on uh, 790 KABC in Los Angeles here. And uh, the, it's a kind of awareness, basically, that you are what you eat, right? Right. So I'm showing, you know, and I'm also a fitness trainer as well. So I want to show the viewers and everybody else that I live what I teach. And... Uh, and I really think that you just need to strip down to your You're underwear. You're out of your goddamn tree. <laughs> and I want you to show people. It's supposed to be, I know, oh, trust me, I, I look good. You, <laughs> you know I look good. <laughs> I know you look good, but. Uh, yeah, well, we, we everyone can take their word for your word. I know you got uh, pink cotton panties. Under no, those. no, oh. no, Angeline is coming. Oh, and, oh that's right. Yeah. yeah, Angeline is coming. Yep, two, are, we, are we on the countdown to two weeks now? Uh, I think it's more like three, but three I weeks. need to speak with her and. Uh, solidify this <laughs> yeah. well i'm excited oh by the way yeah the uh the boy how's my levels jamal your, i need to know your levels my levels okay good. your levels right. sound, your voice is just so sultry and smooth you know it it's <laughs> angelic <laughs> very soft all i need to talk like this why aaron's <laughs> over here doing soaping down in his underwear it's like a berry white video that's oh, right who's your daddy who's, who's your, so your daddy <laughs> Uh, the gay Boy Scouts, they're allowed to be in the uh, Boy Scouts now. I guess that vote went through. Yes, it did. But once they turn 18, they're out of there. Yes. Can't be a... You can't you know, be a troop leader. No, you no, could just be a Boy Scout. That doesn't make any mm -hmm. sense. doesn't make any sense. None of it makes sense. any sense. It's stupid. Mm, that's I still want to know why there's no uh, why there's no uh, controversy with, with the, the little girls, the Girl Scouts, the I ones know. who make our cookies. That's right. What if the lesbians come in? They, they never talk about that. They're sharing tents. Girls never seem to be an issue. It's always the guys. It's I always us. We get the blame for everything. We're guilty yeah, of everything. I, I, it doesn't make any sense. So what's going on here? What do you got? Oh, I oh got also, you know what? Here's the number. We got to yes. read the number because not everybody's getting this number. If you want to call in and ask why Aaron's wearing what he's wearing, <laughs> I thought we covered it, but you might not believe this. 323-284-7826 is the number. Maybe I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> Maybe he's not wearing any underwear. Only I know right now. Uh, but we will find out later in the show whether I am wearing underwear That's or not. That's true. That's true. But I worked out today. Actually, you know, I, I, so I joined this new gym. Yeah. This gym is amazing. It's called Mansion Fitness. Really? It, yeah, it's in uh, West Hollywood. It literally looks like a mansion. Huge crystal chandeliers. Okay, what gym do you know that has crystal chandeliers? I don't know any. Okay. It's called Mansion Fitness. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a it's a private facility. I'm now training all my clients there. But uh, you can't really have a membership there, but you can work with the best trainers in Los Angeles uh, at this place. It's Where super is cool. this? West Hollywood. It's a it's a big place. Yeah, it's a it's a big place. You would never know from the outside until you walked in. All right. But uh, I mean, amazing. West Hollywood's a big place. South well, yeah. La Cienega. Or... No, it's on Fairfax. Okay. Kitty and Corner. it's a house. No. Oh, I thought it was like a mansion. No. Or well, something. it's. It's a store, but it's it's like oh, a mansion. Oh, inside, inside you walk in, and it's like you're in a mansion. The setting is is a mansion type oh, this setting. This is exciting. Like a, like a Hugh cool. Hefner type. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Just think of Playboy bunnies. What's going on? What's going oh, on? What's going on in the news in the world of the stupidity of uh, society? Okay, you're going to like this. So there is a <laughs> an eight-year-old suspended over a gun-shaped Pop-Tart. 
Okay. I kid you not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> boy or girl? It's got to no, be a boy. No, no, it's a boy. So uh, a Joshua Welch. <laughs> Girls can do no Oh, you're going to like this. Joshua Welch. So the NRA, right? Yeah. Gave him a lifetime free membership, which is about $550. Because uh, of his bust? Well, he was at school and he was chewing <laughs> on a Pop-Tart. And he chewed the, this Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun. And then this teacher and threw the him teacher out. And the teacher and the school suspended him. Jesus or, Christ. Now, now it, it gets crazier. <laughs> so attorney got involved on dropping the the uh, other two-day suspension. So it's They it, suspended so, the eight-year-old? Yeah, they did. Oh. So it wouldn't go on his record for uh, for chewing a Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun. Where was this? Uh, this was in, where was this at? Um, Baltimore. <sighs> What the hell is wrong with people? Now, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, now, what the school came back and said is they had a, uh, what was it? Oh, okay. They uh, had. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I no. Got, no. I got to find it. Okay. Let's talk Jamal while he's looking at his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody got time Let's for talk that. while he's looking for no, no. his underwear. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here okay. we go. Back this is, it. okay. The, the school, Park Elementary, told parents it would give counseling to any children who needed it after the Pop-Tart incident. Jesus, can you imagine? <laughs> must have been rough for yeah. those kids. It must have been a really big a Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. <laughs> a Pop-Tart. What are you thinking? I don't know. People are insane. Are you? These are adults. Yeah. These kids are looking up to the adults. And uh, how do you explain to your eight-year-old boy, Tommy? Um, you're home today and you're watching reruns of the Brady Bunch <laughs> because you ate a Pop-Tart and made it in it. Thank God he didn't make it an assault rifle. Well, I'm thinking. That's true. I Can mean, you what imagine? If, now, what if he did like a grenade and then you threw the cookie? Yeah, the across it, the room, and then it exploded. And all the, the strawberry wall, goes everywhere. Hits somebody in the eye, takes them out. Jesus. Get well, all right. What's on our agenda now? Uh, I love these stories. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> these like these are the best. You're gonna like this one. Okay. Well, every young little girl dreams of being uh, Miss Universe, right? Some, some want to go into the Girl Scouts and create Indeed. havoc in the tent. They just haven't been questioned on it because they're too busy picking on the boys. Well, this was interesting because the uh, Denise uh, Garrido, 26, uh, the new Miss Universe Canada. Oh, okay, yeah, they took is, it away from her. They took it away from her. I heard something about they, that. They crowned her, right? Yeah. She missed, uh, Miss Universe. Yeah, and but she didn't answer a question right no, or something? No, 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 no. They called her the next day. This was her dream to be Miss Universe. Well, yeah, life. she went through she all that. She gets a phone call the next day. Yeah. Now, could you imagine the guy calling saying, um, Miss America? Miss America. You're not Miss America. Not, <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that we. we That's we, terrible. We, we, no, they tallied up the, the, the points wrong. Oh. They miscounted. That's That's horrible. And they had to strip it from her, and they gave it to another gal. Could you imagine? You know what? My Did they thing, at least give her a consolation prize, nothing. like a she year's worth of tide? She, no, she had. It was <laughs> less than, She had twenty four hours, and then her dreams were ripped from her. Oh but then, I mean, you know, she was a good sport about it. Did she sign with Cheerios or Wheaties uh, at least in that should. short time? She should. Can you imagine? You know, here's the thing: if you mess up that big, just let her have it. No kidding. Seriously. Yeah. We're going to strip bad. it from you. We miscounted. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's twenty four hours later. How many did they miscount by? Did they, they say? No, I didn't say. Yeah. Okay couple thousand they were off i mean I, I don't know i don't know much about that whole thing i'm you, confused <laughs> is the underwear distracting me? it's just he's you know over here i'm like being serious and i'm talking to a naked guy you, you know what i have to say to that what ain't nobody got time for that oh yeah that's right <laughs> jamal <laughs> with <laughs> Hey, oh yeah! I love I got it. We, we got we got a caller right now. You guys want to want to talk to him? Sure. Okay, here we go. Let's say hi. Who do we have? Caller, you're on the air. Hi. Hello. I'm calling from San Jose, California. San Jose, California. I love San Jose. And who are we speaking with? My name is Lisa. Lisa, welcome to the show. Hey, Lisa. Uh, hey. How are you? So I noticed you. You know, you guys were saying stuff about. Because the guy, you know, the guys get all the crap for being gay and the lesbians, you know, they don't get so much crap and all that. Well, when it comes to the the Boy Scouts and the um, and the Girl and, Scouts, we well, haven't heard being, any controversy. Being a lesbian, I just got to say that I'm celebrating that I get to live in the double standard. <laughs> <laughs> because let me tell you boys something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because 
I can go down the street being a lesbian all day long. Uh huh. And what? you know, guys are like, "Ooh, she's a lesbian. Can I watch? <laughs> Ooh, she's a lesbian. Can I? Can yep. I give you a couple bucks? You know, whatever." Yep. But right. you poor guys, you walk down the street and you're being you, and it's all good, and I celebrate you. But you get the worst crap. I know. Yeah, the guys. And, the yeah. guys get the it. No. Scotty, you brought up the the greatest point. What about the Girl Scouts? You don't think there's some muck diving up in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. They're doing something know what, in those Scott? tents. You don't think there's a winky wink in the tank? I'm thinking. <laughs> exactly. Here's the thing. I think if if something does happen, it would break out into the uh, to the mass media. Yeah, it would. I still think they're doing I it. I think you. I think they're chopping wood. And I yeah. here's yeah. what I think. I think that because the whole entire country is also up into your into the guy thing. Right. Yeah. That's you know it. what I mean? That's it. it. It shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. No. It really shouldn't be an issue. No. Like I said, well, being in, a lesbian, I could walk down the street. I could, you know, whatever. I could show my hairy leg or not. I could there show you go. whatever. <laughs> Beautiful. I could, I could be profiled. I could be not. But even if I'm profiled, <laughs> I'm cool. Nice. I would love but, it. But a guy walking down the street, and you know, he might be a little light in the loafers, or he might be a beefcake, <laughs> but there's something about him, and you guys get, you know. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you. Thank you Thanks for calling for the in. Call, I love that. Yeah, again. Yeah, we so, get we get the we get the rough end. Of yeah, the, 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 guys. the guys guys are always getting it, and like she said, I I don't know. I think the Girl Scouts are. I think they're in their tents doing more All than baking cookies. All it takes is just one big great just one story. One, one of them, one or two. One story, and it's going to hit mainstream. So what else is up? What else is up? Uh, this is actually a good. This is a good story. This is so. This is in uh, Hartford, Connecticut, right? Uh huh. So this mother bear. Of 200 pounds and her cubs uh, just strolling through this lady's backyard, and her dog was out in the backyard barking at the bear and the cubs. Right. And the bear was chasing this dog literally into this lady's house. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. Uh, foo foo. Open the door, right? And here comes this 200 pound bear running. So the mother protects her like her dog, right? right. And she fights off this bear and has puncture wounds and scratches and. Uh, in her leg, and but she saves her dog. Nice. And I wonder how many owners <laughs> would just would say, hey, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would defend my dog. Did we get any emails from last week about any bike riders who were upset that I don't want to share the road with them with the automobiles? Just curious. No. Oh, but what does that mean? Bad. You know, I was behind a lady coming over here tonight. <laughs> Okay, and Scott, she was on her bike. Are we going to be talking about bikes no, every single week? No, just this one okay. time. This okay. was a larger lady. <laughs> Good Lord. She was a larger lady. She was in the in the slow lane as I'm trying to make my way up Vine Street, I think. Yeah. She's in the lane. She's a large lady, like I said. Uh, she's sitting on her seat. It, it basically looked like a cupcake sitting on a toothpick, and I'm trying to go around her. <laughs> just, <laughs> she had a big <laughs> ass, buddy. That's what I'm getting at. Honk the horn, flips me off. Of course, she has the right of way. Well, because of this silly law, it's like just get over to the right. She's doing twenty miles an hour. She's got, but what happens, right? You know, I'm she, not. I'm not bagging on anybody's to get weight. Her. I'm not bagging on no, get, anybody's weight. So don't think. But it really, know. in the end, you become the bad guy. Yeah, I'm the you bad honk guy. To let her know that you're there. That yeah. You don't want to hit her. But then you try to get over. Then what happens, right? The cars that are coming on the other lane, they're now mad at you. Yeah, they're mad at me because now you're bumping in front of them. Ruth is so flattening end, tires. She's killing her seat. Yeah. And she's upsetting me but and you know, ten other people why behind don't you me. Be the good Samaritan, put on your emergency flashers and just follow her <laughs> to wherever she needs to go. That's cruel. <laughs> we shouldn't even plant that in people's minds. Hi, Ruth. What's for dinner? <laughs> Can you see that? Pull up next to her. Hey, you know what? We're gonna jump into something right now and just share a little something with people. That's right. Go. What were you thinking with Aaron and Scott? The show that gets to the core of all the bull. Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. You know, we here at the studio are really athletic guys, and as a result, we're always pulling this, overstretching that. You know how it goes. You get hurt from time to time, or you just sleep wrong and wake up with some sort of ache or pain. But no matter what the situation is, we choose who we consider to be one of the best chiropractors in L.A. 
Dr. Chet Millett. Headaches, backaches, neck aches. He's the guy we trust with our pain. Dr. Millett is located at Body Structure in Hollywood, California on Cole Street across from Gold's Gym. Seriously, we know this guy. He's got the experience and expertise, and he cares. That's Dr. Chet Millett. Give him a call at 323-469-8062 or look him up on the web at bodystructurela.com. Or you can find him on Yelp. <clears throat> Dr. Chet Millett. He's the guy we trust with our pain. From the darkness below, an intense and thrilling game by the creators of App Code Source, bringing the ultimate Gangnam game directly to your devices. Gangnam Speedrunner, now available on your App Store. Get ready to run. This app is rated G for Gangnam. Visit GangnamSpeedrunner.com. What were you thinking? With, With Aaron and Scott. Real talk behind closed doors. It's not just about stupidity, but everything else that comes with it. High octane, energy driven, in your face. Get ready. It's Aaron and Scott. And we are back. Yes, and we are. Oh, we are back. We um, have someone with us. We do have somebody with us. We have the famous, the infamous, the the beautiful, the talented, the multi-talented. I, 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 words, I'm lost for words. Uh, Susan Irby, uh, she is a bikini chef. She has her own show uh, here in Los Angeles, 790 KABC. Uh, bikini Lifestyles is what the show is. Susan, welcome. Thank Hi, you Susan. for having me. Oh, Hi. of course. Um, now, here's a little backstory. I was on Susan's show two years ago. Now, I did a, a YouTube series called Zero to Savvy where I did a, a cooking show in my underwear, which is another reason why I'm here in my underwear, but to show that we are what we eat. And that was one thing that I was talking about on, on Susan's show is that we are. We are what we eat. And I wanted to show that if you live a healthy lifestyle, that you can look absolutely amazing and uh, and then you'll want to wear nothing but your underwear right Susan? <laughs> underwear underwear or a bikini yes. what do you cook what kind of stuff do you cook i'm curious I cook everything flavorful that's good for you so really? anything from bison burgers to veggie burgers to um you know lemon vinaigrettes um nice i did a fabulous sweet corn a non-fat sweet corn relish the other day and yeah. served it over quinoa crab cakes Oh, Ooh, amazing. That good. I just yeah. asked because I saw the peanut butter. I was like, oh, she's right up my alley. Where's the? I'm looking <laughs> no, for jelly. Yes. Right? Wait, wait. No, no, no. No jelly here. <laughs> peanut jelly. butter and jelly. We're healthy no. here, Scott. We're no. healthy. Oh, I know. Jelly is jiggly. We don't jiggle. No, we need, to, we need to educate Scott, Susan, because I think we were talking last week about nutrition. And the, oh, I was, because I was telling that you were coming on the show and that you cook healthy foods. And Scott was like, well, does it taste good? And, right. I said, yes. and I said, absolutely, very flavorful. Because well, you know what I mean. A lot of times things that are really good for you, they're you know not going to be the first thing. It's a common perception that you, you, you mention the word healthy in co conjunction with food, and people think it tastes horrible. Yeah, you think yeah, of like, rice no, cakes. No, yeah. Yeah. We'll see it afterwards. <laughs> yeah. I know. No, yeah. no, no. This sounds awesome. Yeah. But what's your feel? I'm just curious, being a chef, what's your feel? what's your feel on GMO foods? GMO you mentioned, foods? You mentioned corn, and I was um, like... Well, I mean, there's foods that are grown, grown naturally, of course, and then they're trying to do all this weird stuff to them. Yeah. So, I mean, really, you want everything in its natural, organic exactly. state. Uh, seriously. That's wherever hey, I just, go now, I ask, is this GMO? And from what I'm being told, stores and restaurants, you well, cannot get away from GMO corn. Uh, well, exact, Well, it's not just corn. It's a lot of... But also, just asking, and if they say it's non-GMO, it's kind of like... Who knows? Yeah, so it's we're gonna have to really get more and more careful about label reading and and sourcing. Well, they're gonna have to label know? them to begin with, too. Yes, yeah. but I mean, like sourcing where foods come from and their right. buyers. I mean, if you're really, really serious and hardcore about wanting to know everything about the foods that you're eating, you're gonna have to do your research. And right. these days, though, with the internet. You know, it's all online if you want it there. Yeah. yeah. Scott, this is the queen of chef. 
I mean, this good. This I'm glad Susan has now. I'm happy. Eight, she she now has eight books, cookbooks. Yeah. Wow. And here's the thing. She she and so we see eye to eye because you know I'm a fitness trainer. I'm all about health. Yeah, we see underwear to bikini. Underwear to bikini. <laughs> oh, no, here's, oh, here's, oh, here's another thing too. When I was on Susan's show, because <laughs> you know, remember when I was on Susan's show two years ago, I said you know when I get my show, I'm gonna have you come on and we're gonna do a little cooking demo and I'm gonna be in my underwear and you're gonna be in your bikini and. Two okay. years later, ta da. Here we are. Here we are. So nice. I have to say, Aaron, yes. I have to credit you. The only time I normally cook in my bikini or show up in a bikini anywhere is by a pool or if I'm um, oh my at my parents' lake house in Alabama after we water ski and I'm cooking, you know. This is a first then. Yeah. This, this is, is special. Kind of, this oh is my, epic. This is epic. And, this is, and, and on the flip side, Aaron's in his underwear He's always all in the his time. Under- I saw him yesterday at the bus stop. I was like, something wrong with your car? He said, no, I just want to stand in a spot where people see me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, now, normally, now, you have, uh, Susan has a co-host, Steve, who is, he is the sweetest guy. He's so funny, and I really want him to be on the show, and I do want to put a shout out to Steve that we love you, we I miss know, you. And we I we love you, Steve. He's, yeah, we're, what's he doing? He's what? traveling. He's traveling. He's traveling Apparently, without yeah. us, Aaron. He's um, having a good time. Steve always has a good time. Does he oh, he wear does. his underwear with, like you? Steve wears he... everything. <laughs> One time for Halloween, Steve came as me. So there. Really? Yes. Well, his yeah. hair is the same. Well, it's a little shorter than yours, but. Oh yeah. uh, <laughs> no! He had like the whole pedal pusher, bikini top. I love it. Everything. I absolutely yes. love it. But so tell me, I'm curious. Is that powdered sugar? I see. No. Oh. No. No powdered sugar there. I thought that was that, powdered sugar. No. What are you looking at? I think you're looking at the I'm coconut look- shaving. Oh yeah, from here it looks like yeah, powdered so sugar. Coconut, you know, at one time coconut was like taboo. You don't, but now it's all the rage. It's like the healthy fats. Yeah. And, um, so no, not kind of no. like kind of like powdered sugar, right? It used to be taboo, and now it's good. For you. Powdered no, sugar not is really. not good for you. Uh, okay. No, yeah. sorry, you got a little bit of learning no. there, Scott. So other Sugar's than the wishful so, thinking, I guess. Yes. So now, other than the eight books that you've written, yes. uh, wh- now what else are you doing other than I'm your show? I'm creating right now. I'm creating the So Bikini Diet. It, yes, the what? The So Bikini Diet. Okay, I have to know about this. Well, everybody's always asking me, what should I eat? How much should I eat? Um, what should you know? And so, uh, I just keep sending them tweets or emails. So finally, I'm just going to put all that information into one gigantic little book and. They can I they can it. email it to them and wow. there you go. Yeah. What are you cooking today? I'm assuming you're cooking. Well, here's a funny thing. So I went to the Abbey recently and I was like all these gorgeous dancers and they were working so hard. And <laughs> you you look like you train. Aaron, you're you guys are very bikini and in shape. I'm and very bikini. So, I should have worn a bikini. You know what you need is you need <laughs> You mean a top too? <laughs> I don't need a top. I have an extra one. This is a bikini, which you have on minus the top. Oh, I Jamal, guess. look at this. <laughs> well, <laughs> pretty much. It's like I should have worn a bikini. I brought an extra bikini if you need it. Yeah. There you go, Aaron. Yeah. Your there wish you just go. came true. Oh, there You're we go. covered. Or not. That, yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, yeah, so um anyway, <laughs> when and even for those who aren't athletes are working out that hard, they need, you know, you have that slump in the afternoon, you need some energy. Yes. And you want that energy to count. And that's the natural time when a lot of people go to the vending machine and they get chips and pretzels mm-hmm. and all those kinds all of crap. snacks. So this is what I call my power up protein snacks. And it's made with ground up almonds and a little bit of flax seed, chia seeds, um, dates. Sounds good. Dates. <laughs> you put a little bit of vanilla extract in there. How and, long does this take to make? So, oh, it takes like five minutes. Ten oh, minutes. so let's, let, yeah. let's I already do... ground up the almonds okay. and the dates <coughs> so that they wouldn't be so loud. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to so oh, this sounds I'm gonna good. stand up. I'm hungry actually too. And uh, well, gonna, so you need your energy. Yeah, I totally need my energy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to so I'm gonna switch over to this mic here. So I'm going to stand up. You might want to lift it too a little. No, that should be all right for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look how <laughs> sexy you are. Woo. So you see. Oh, I have to and you have my police back. department. Yeah, he's covered. Am I in trouble? And what I <laughs> I work for the police department on my uh, those off are tight shorts, buddy. You're flossing <laughs> back here. <laughs> oh my God. Scott, it's very important to floss. I, he's fl- I, I I floss twice a day. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm beautiful. blushing. I brought my son hat. Maybe. Oh my gosh! Look at this. <laughs> okay, it's like a regular party over it here. It is. 
Nice. You know what people are going to start doing in uh, little cookouts in their underwear? Or a little gal- I encourage they should. This. They Absolutely. probably do already, Aaron. Oh, this is L.A. You're right. Yeah, they, I'm sure they're well, having sure nude everybody. cookouts. Well, yeah, yeah, but everybody that listens nude to from cookout. L.A. Nude cookouts. Could you see? Nude. Like, I, can tell you, I could see them all going to the backyard, looking at the barbecue, <laughs> getting eyes on each other, and okay. going upstairs. But if That's you're going to cook out in the nude, if you have some hot stuff on the grill, make sure you wear an apron so you don't like. Yeah, we don't want anything splatter. You don't want to burn your tummy. <laughs> we don't want splatter. And we're counting the weenies that go on that barbecue too, <laughs> just in case anybody has a funny we idea. Don't need to lose any okay, weenies. Okay, so right. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> yeah, stand up. Move, move the mic around and. Um, Okay, so so here we go. This looks really good. I'm gonna have to add drum this to roll. My... <laughs> drum roll. Now, what do we call this dish, or what? What is? I, it's um, it's the power up protein snacks. The okay. Power, okay. Power up protein snacks. So I already ground up the almonds, and then in here are the dates. Okay, so those are ground up dates. Okay. But you want to use um, whole pitted dates. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So dates. That's where you get the sugar from. Okay, so not the powdered sugar. Right. right? Yes. A healthy sugar. And I then know. I ground up just whole um, raw almonds. Okay. Nice. So you can see those there. Almonds are and good. The, you're not going to just stand there and look gorgeous. Oh, I'm just no. posing. No, uh-uh. Pose, pose. <laughs> okay. As you, no, just now, put all those almonds in oh, there. Oh, everything. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Now, how much, how much almonds do we have? Does it look like about a cup? That Well, it's, um, no, it's about a half a cup. Half a cup. Okay, so I used... Half a cup of the whole almonds, all okay. right? And then I have some flaxseed, all yeah. right? This is two tablespoons of flaxseed. Oh, flax this is only good. half the recipe. One whole recipe makes about 20, 20, 21 protein power balls, oh, okay? Wow. Love How it. much all protein's right? in the actual protein power uh, ball? The protein, we have about six grams. In yes. each power ball? In each power ball. How many balls are you making? I would be having We're a whole- We're gonna make <laughs> about <laughs> 10 balls. <laughs> Yes. I would eat all. I would eat all ten of them. <laughs> I would eat all ten balls. Scott. Well, you're not eating all ten balls, buddy. Okay. So we have our flax seed in. <laughs> then we're gonna put in our peanut butter. Okay, and you want to use a natural peanut butter. Yes. And so I, that is a good one, right? Because I actually yes. use that one for my protein drinks. By the way, I'll have you know, Aaron. Yes. I have a uh, Vitamixer. <gasps> I put oh. kale in it. I put <gasps> broccoli in it. I put collard greens in it. I put Italian parsley, that chipotle green stuff. I put uh, pineapple and I put almonds. Chipotle green I, stuff. I don't know. It's learn green something stuff they new put about in chipotle you every day. Stuff. What, what, what is that green stuff? It smells kind of good. It's not ginger. <laughs> uh, they put yeah. them at. They use it at the Chipotle place. Uh, cilantro. There you go. Yeah, cilantro. Yeah, the right. ch- Chipotle green stuff. <laughs> cilantro. Now, can you do almond butter too? Yeah, you could do almond butter, um, but you have all the ground almonds sure, in sure. here. But what you can do because uh, if you have a nut allergy, you right. can use sunflower. Seeds, sunflower ah, butter. Sunflowers. Okay. How's that taste compared to peanut butter? Um, I personally think it tastes really good, but you didn't bring a sample, huh? I didn't. Oh, I ate a... it all. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Always thinking about, about yourself, that. huh? I know. Always thinking so about that's, yourself. That's what my husband said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna have you stir this up. Okay. Okay. So you stir. We stir it up this. nicely, Aaron. I like mine fine. <laughs> okay, now you can also, you could also put quinoa seeds in here, okay? Ooh. But we're not using quinoa seeds, but you could. Quinoa is good, right? Quinoa is very, very good. Oh yeah, yes. Good in protein. And then good these are of chia seeds, okay? So I'm gonna put some chia seeds in Ooh. there. Chia. Oh yeah, chia. Chia is good. Oh, we gotta put in our vanilla oh, extract. Vanilla extract. And that's okay. It comes out of a bottle, right? You know, it's it's um. Because I know you, you use, use that with vanilla cookies. Bean. Yeah. You could use vanilla bean. Uh, the, That's a natural bean, yeah. right? Where this stuff oh, comes from. Susan, you yeah. need to show well, you on the... you want to use the real vanilla extract, too, all right? You need to be on the Food Network, and then I'm, I'm just going to be your so assistant. Okay. See a bit and then oh, I'll I'd just love to have... I okay I don't know. stir whatever you want you into know, a the, bowl. The Food Network's pretty conservative. <laughs> I don't know if they'll let us in and in, in your underwear. You'll be surprised. All right, so here we go. <laughs> he'll just do it <laughs> when he gets there. He'll show up in a tie. He'll look like Wink Martindale, and then suddenly he's going to strip. What are they going to do? put us on at like 3 in the morning. They're going to chase him around the stage I can see it now. Man in underwear being chased around the stage. Right, what? Don't it. catch him. It's all natural. <laughs> all right, it is. It's natural. Healthy. All right, you can put that down now. Okay. But now you need to put on some gloves. Yeah, because we don't know where those hands have been. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Okay, I'm gonna. My hands are stay. very clean. I, I have no comment for that. One. I know it's terrible. Double up fact, on I the gloves. Got, no, I love it. <laughs> I just got a manicure and pedicure, so I won't cut through these gloves. Okay, so you mean for your nude deal? That's so cool. Look, yeah. Now you're just going to hit. Um, ah. You did such a great job, Aaron. Right? I'm, I'm you did. So it doesn't look very good right now, but well, I'm sure it tastes me. amazing. I can. It smells really good. I can smell it from here. Yeah, it smells all the yeah. the nuts and the nut butter. So now you're just going to. Roll this into a ball. Okay, now if we were at home, you would put these in the refrigerator just for about 20 minutes or so. Right. Okay. okay. Now, how big should I'm they be? I'm not responsible for the milk. You want your balls big or <laughs> small? Uh, Susan, how do you like your balls? You I like your balls big? I like my big? balls big, actually. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Aaron? Aaron, you cool with big balls? I think okay. it's... <laughs> Him a, will you pass him a big ball, please? I yeah. would love it. Hold on. That's about your right size, Scott. That's about the size of your ball. There we go. Well, that's about mine right there. Liar. <laughs> Look who's... Okay. That's... Oh, my gosh, Aaron. That is a huge ball. <laughs> I like big balls. Why did you get a bigger ball? Because I had big balls. What are you talking about? No, I got a song, bigger ball. The song is, I, I like big, big balls. <laughs> but I, I like big balls. I cannot lie. This is really uh, good. Did you oh, like man. that? Yes. Okay, now, for mm. a variation, you could put mm. in some shredded coconut. Could I have coconut. one more? This is my Here, dinner. have another ball. Pass have another ball well, to you Scott. You need two balls. You just can't have one ball, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you need two balls, This reminds me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need two balls. <laughs> okay. Wow. So now, seriously, you could put some shredded coconut in there. <gasps> you could put some chopped up cranberries Love in it. there if you wanted to for just this some so extra good. flavor variation. This is awesome. Or one wow. thing I like to do is roll right. them in um, natural unsweetened cocoa powder. So you like to roll your balls? Did you try? I love to roll my balls. <laughs> okay, yes, cool. and then I take a big bite of my balls. <laughs> oh my god, she bites the balls. Roll your balls and then you eat them, Scott. You nibble the balls. That's cool. Everyone's gonna start eating balls. I love this. <laughs> okay, do you like it? I love okay. it. I love it. I'm a hard one to to please. Too. Yeah, Scott's very really hard to please. Yeah. Do you feel the energy? I'm feeling I it right now, it. baby. Yeah. I'm gonna oh, go yeah? look for a cape. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> to run circles around the building. I love it. So, you know, it's all... Only if you chase me. <laughs> yeah. In my underwear. So these Let's are... Let's chase down Sunset Boulevard. That sounds uh, good. So these are all the healthy fats, you know, good for you. Yeah. Um, and then you get fiber from the flax Absolutely. meal. And the, the chia. And, um... No, yeah, really, and, I like and this. And see how easy they were... Seriously. They were... To I mean, make. This is really, really good. Good. This I'm glad really, you like really it, good. Scott. Mm. Good. This is a really good healthy replacement. Other than candy bars or... You yes, know. absolutely. And I'm just dropping and my the balls thing is, over the floor. I'm sorry. You are. My balls are falling apart, Scott. I, I'm sorry to, to see that happening. <laughs> That's too bad. Actually. Oh, you got a mouthful All of right, balls. All right, so let's see. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Well, the ball that you made, Aaron, was worth about three sides. Yeah, because he's I, a ball hog. Well, that's why. I'm a ball hog. Goddamn and like, ball hog. You know, I want to make sure I got my protein intake in. Well, you too. sure did. I, I got about, what, 12 grams, maybe yep. 18. Yes. Oops. So, because, let's see, we made about seven balls. But right. Make really, some more balls real this, quick while he's working on his balls yeah, so this, we can have more balls. This would make really about wow. 10, 10 balls because this was half the recipe. Now, is this recipe in your book? Aaron, I am not responsible for your mess. I repeat. <laughs> I, yes, yes. Jesus, this, what a little pig. Look at him down there. This it's recipe. like a whole barnyard of fellas came out and just... I don't have one little crumb. Here. Pass. Oh, yeah, throw it over there. Table now. a tray of balls. Yeah. You know, Jamal needs a ball, too. Jamal, <laughs> I'm, I'm Jamal's getting out. a ball. Here. I'll take a ball. Would you like a ball? Yeah. I mean, really I'll take, gotta have I got a ball. One. Thank you. you <laughs> was, that, was that an ACDC Dude, song? Isn't that good? Balls. Of, balls. Uh, I like big balls. balls. You got big balls. Yeah. But who, yeah. he's who's got, got the biggest, biggest balls, balls of them all. all. My I'm, balls will be swinging from the That would be the song if we had a commercial for these balls. I love this. I love it. Yes. So that's it. It's as simple as that. And you could roll it, but you could also you could you could roll these in the in the coconut um, mm. shavings. But I like here. You know what? I love coconut. You know what I'm gonna do is yeah. I'm gonna put some coconut in. You definitely need water with here, this. Me, just yes. To let people know, you yes. Definitely, you do. It's a peanut now, butter. Now try to whistle, Scott. <laughs> yes. You definitely need whistle water. Whistle with your balls in your mouth. I can't even whistle. <laughs> I was but no, but this is a perfect snack for the afternoon. This is great for a party. This is great for it's great know. for a party. But it's really I I created them for that afternoon slump. You know when, when well you're kids would slugged. love this too. Kids so. would love it because of the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. 
And if I they like have this. nut allergies, you could use, like I said, you could use um, sunflower butter. And instead of almonds, you could grind up. You know, these sunflower seeds and other kinds of but seeds. But almonds are better for you than sunflower seeds on the good chain, Yes, right? yes, yes. I agree with that. They have more of the good fats. And like Brazil nuts are supposed to be the best nuts of all. Brazil right? nuts Brazilian. are fabulous. One of the superfoods, right? From Brazil is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You know what? You're talking about superfoods. Do you guys know what the healthiest, uh, most nutritionally dense vegetable is? Hold on. Mm. Nice. Is it the acai? Asahi? Passing a coconut ball. Okay, you guys is it like Asahi? <laughs> A-C-A-I? Is it no. that one? Hold on. No, Hold on. A, I'm not done yet. No, Hold it's on. a vegetable. A Goji. vegetable. Go oh. A vegetable. Well, okay. You want to do <laughs> Just fruit? Just eat your not damn a, balls. No, this is yours. It's coconut. That's a coconut Here, eat my ball. ball. Okay, so a vegetable. Yes, the most. We can go. Collard green? No, but it is. It's, it's um. Dense. Kale. It's green. It's green. Mm-hmm. Is it round or does it grow on a tree? Um, it's I don't like know if that makes sense. This. <laughs> Man, you got me stumped, it's, and I'm all about nutrition. Well, it's like oh, there you wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, okay, uh, asparagus. It's, yes. Asparagus. Asparagus. asparagus yes. Uh, duh. For all of their the vitamins. The vegetable that makes okay, you. Okay, like you know when you go to Whole Foods and they have a number. Can I take my gloves off now? Yeah. Yes. 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 No, Aaron, you can leave yours on. <laughs> no, it's, it's not very fashionable, Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, when we go to Whole Foods. When you go to Whole Foods. Oh, talk, I can't talk. I right. ate a ball. Oh, that's okay. Mm. How'd you like the coconut ball? I love the coconut ball. Now, do you like the coconut better than the... Do you like I like the first one. They're all, either one. The yeah, original. Both good. The original. This one's a little drier, but... <laughs> commercial. Well, you just keep saying, oh. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> it's Aaron and Scott. What were you thinking? Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. What if you heard something but did nothing? What if the music you love was gone forever? Check this out. A truly intense and tightly wound app, optimized with stunning retina graphics and crystal clear electronic audio. DJ Dubstep Kit, built specifically for dubstep enthusiasts and DJs everywhere. Five stars rave DJs around the world. Create your own dubstep music for commercial use today. Visit dubstepkit.com. In a world where developers compete to promote their apps, in a time where advertising is key to your success and profit on any app store, create stunning app demo videos with the voice heard around the world. Make your app stand out among the rest. For commercial use on websites, trailers, YouTube, and more, some restrictions may apply. Visit appcodesource.com and order your custom voiceover today. What were you thinking? With, With Aaron and Scott, real talk behind closed doors. It's not just about stupidity, but everything else that comes with it. High octane, energy driven, in your face. Get ready. It's Aaron and Scott. And we are back with uh, Susan Irby, the bikini chef, and we had just tasted some amazing balls. balls. <laughs> <laughs> you had Rich in protein. Oh, no, so good, so good. My blood well, sugar. You know back. what? That is good. now added on to. I feel very. I, like, I want to go work out right now. I know. And it my feels really. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> do you just live in your underwear? This Aaron? is Hollywood. We can get away with this. You know what? I joke around, but I do the same thing. I go down to the mailbox where I live. I get the mail, and women wait around. Oh, hi. And they act like they're surprised, but they know I come down in my mail, you know, get my mail in my underwear. It's just Oh, my... wow. We want to be your neighbors. It's all good. <laughs> so I have a question. At Whole Foods, yeah. they will have a number on the board above collard greens. It'll say the the the, the health rating number. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Collard greens usually gets the highest. Uh -huh. Broccoli's up there. Broccoli's up there. Any kind of green, dark green, leafy yes. vegetables. What is the, do you know what the number is of collard greens and what it would be in relation to the, what, what did you say? Asparagus. Asparagus. Yeah. Do you know Asparagus. what? You know what? I just actually received a book on that yesterday. There's a new book out called 50, the top 50 plant and fruits or something like that. Right. And, uh, um, 
So collard greens is going to be somewhere in the top 25. I don't know exactly where on the list. Now, but. like we were talking about GMOs before. Yes. Now, if they start GMOing all this stuff, that's going to change the whole playing field, well, isn't it? of course. It? And that's where it, it goes down to us Scott, consumers. you're smacking your lips. I can't hear you say that. <laughs> 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 beat his ass. <laughs> Good Lord. Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm trying to hear you say that. Well, if you had five balls in your like mouth, you'd probably be smacking uh, your lips, too. <laughs> You sound like a dog licking its butt. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, if you give peanut butter to a dog, they will smack their lips uh, for like hours. <laughs> yeah. I, I was listening to my dog lick its butt. I, sorry, Susan. So funny. <laughs> that description really helped. Scott, too, huh? Scott has one more ball on his plate. So. Yeah, I know. I'll wait. I'll eat that after. I don't want to upset you. <laughs> So okay. going back to the GMOs, this is where we as consumers are really going to have to do our research on, you know, sourcing and, and yeah. what's being done. Because seriously, if we don't get together and force them to change, then why why would they? From what I understand about GMOs is, is th- it offers nothing for the body. Your body doesn't recognize it as food. Well, that's, that's yeah. What I've, I've, Anything that's you know altered like that yeah. is is not so you you go to you go to a you, store but... you get all these greens you think oh my god I've done it it's all GMO and you wake up the next day and you're like instead of healthy you look like a Martian or something. Well, it's like you know let's go remember when everything was labeled organic and everybody was making all these organic claims. Yes. Not everything was really truly organic. Right. So you really I I say that I tweet this all the time you know you have to be a label reader you're gonna we're just gonna have to be researchers right. and. And um and and call these people out, you know, right. and and not use them um, either. But these stores like Whole Foods and I Sprouts. forget the other Sprouts. I'm Air One. I'm not sure about Gelson's and all those kind of stores, but a lot of them are refusing to carry GMO food. So any food that's been altered, I know Sprouts. Like that, Sprouts they, is they yeah. they're putting it down. You know, they're putting their foot down yeah. <laughs> that they're not going to carry any of those those foods. Now, so. I know when people are trying to eat healthy, now, a lot of people, they, they calorie, you know, they're calorie counters. Are you kind of a calorie counter yourself or no. when, you're, when you're teaching? Because I, I don't. No, I don't. I'm not. But I used to be a calorie counter. Right. Okay. And calorie counting, I think it, it works on some level for people who are just starting out. Yes. Maybe, maybe like that, when you're a real big fat ass. Um. <laughs> If you're if you're <laughs> severely overweight, just cutting back. I've, recently, we had a community weight loss challenge, for example. Okay, and so a lot of the participants came in; they were very overweight. But then, um, like our winner lost twenty seven pounds, and like I think it was like fourteen or seventeen percent of her. Um, bought total body weight over like three month period and I said what did you do yeah. and all she she said she just changed from eating fast food yep all that'll the time do it right there to cooking healthier foods at home and that was all she did and that's not calorie counting no. calorie counting can be a pain in the ass though uh, some it? Pe- I, it works for some people I do not really count calories anymore I don't, I don't. yeah I mean I really teach I mean with my clients you know to be health conscious and making smart decisions when it comes to eating foods you know fruits vegetables whole grains you know things that don't con- you know have a content of high sugar saturated fats and sodium and yes. really if you can just stay really low on those yes. those three if you focus on those types of ingredients Absolutely. then you don't need to count calories yeah people are counting calories are generally the ones eating the potato chips and yeah the you can count calories if you're at mcdonald's and, yes. you know i had three big yes. macs i counted my calories but i do <laughs> want to say for example um uh like quinoa for example it's pretty high in carbohydrates and therefore, um, you know, it ca- carries a fairly high calorie content. So even sure. though it's very high fiber right. and it's very good for you, it's a complete protein and all that, you still have to be aware of portion control. Correct. So just because something is good for you doesn't mean that you can eat a boatload of it. Right. Okay? right. So everything in moderation. Yes. Everything right. in moderation. Yes. Including. Twinkies. Balls. Yeah. Including <laughs> balls. <laughs> Yes, because <laughs> because I have a strange naked guy sitting next to me. I'm in my underwear. I'm not uh, completely yeah, naked. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, but seriously, like these protein power balls that that I brought in, one of them is about you know 170 calories. So you don't want to eat 
20 of them if no. you're not but it's not you know, just eating out. healthy too but it's also incorporating a healthy you know exercise regimen into yes. your daily yes. you know i have a feeling the lady in front of me on the bike on vine street today <laughs> had about 40 of these things the cupcake butt <laughs> yeah i heard you talking about that. wait what, what, what was that was a visual i did not want to <laughs> oh, see yeah. it looked like a cupcake sitting on a toothpick oh that's right the woman riding the, the large bicycle. butt on the little seat this seat was gone months ago oh, that my seat God. was gone but you know what? She could actually benefit from these protein balls. Because She's trying. Gee, I'll go chase her down. Go chase her down. <laughs> you got to give her credit. She didn't take the city bus. She, she rode her bike. She rode yeah. Her, yeah, that's true. She that's rode true. her yeah. bike. That is true. Yeah. She could benefit Absolutely. from the protein balls. Okay? I'm on your side, lady. And re- so maybe, your side. She's, maybe she's eating a lot of cookies right now. She could replace the cookies with the protein yeah. balls. She may have just had a flat tire in her car, and she was craving some potato chips and cookies, and she was on her way on her bike to the store because that's the only way she could feed herself. To- and guess what? If there were protein balls, balls there that tasted right. good, then exactly. she might buy those instead of the cookies. Scott, exactly. you need to start carrying more balls with you when you're driving. <laughs> and when you see someone, because we always talk about these bikes, you know, these people on bikes. You want my balls? You need to just <laughs> want some great poupon, you know, but pass yeah. out the ball as yes. they're riding your bike. Energize somebody. I like help that. Them. I'm going to eat this we're as soon as we're done. But seriously, it's like because Mr. Munch over here is like, oh, yeah. Oh, I had my share of balls on the show tonight. I'm I really quite appreciate satisfied. you guys having me on the show. Susan, Thank you. Oh, I mean, oh, oh, our pleasure. I mean, These are really, really good. I'm glad you <laughs> I'm like I'm not just yeah. saying that. They were very, very good. My, I got a good uh, sugar rush. So now you know, people want natural. to hear you. Uh, what time? Now, when do you do your show? Bikini Lifestyles airs on KBC, which is AM 790, Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Okay. and live streaming online. So if you're, you know, at home or whatever, or if you don't live in the area, you can uh, listen online. And you can also go to thebikinichef.com and get all the podcasts. So we had Urban Tarzan on recently. And I know um, you interviewed yeah. uh, Wolfgang Puck. And Wolfgang Puck, Sarah Moulton, Barbara Fairchild. Venus uh, Venus Williams. 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 We've inter- do you have yes. a kitchen at your place, a full kitchen? No, no. What I do is I make the recipe at home and then I bring it into the studio, kind of a little bit like I did here nice. today. Yeah. Beautiful. I love yeah. it. I love Very it. Very cool. Well, as you know, it's like if I just told you about the protein ball, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. you got to taste it. No, 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 no. You have to taste it. Yeah. Yep. Seriously. Well, thank you, thank you thank so, you. so much. I feel honored to have. And you know, I mean, and she was. Uh, oh, we're good. She wore her bikini. I did. I never wear my. She never wears a bikini. That's nice. Not in a studio. And you know what? (laughs) From here on out, I will not wear my underwear. Here's, I I got it. Hey, I know. I got. I got. I got. I got. So when Susan comes back on, yeah, I'll be. I will always be in my underwear for you when you come on the show. (laughs) And only it's a trademark. I will not do it for anybody else. Just curious, what is your feel on the little boy who bit his little pop tart into the shape of a gun? And then was asked to leave school. It for was two suspended. Days. Did you hear that? School. No, I didn't yeah. hear that. Well, they suspended I think him. it's. Um, I think we're going a little gun crazy on yeah. both sides. Uh-huh. I think so. I think okay. so. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then let's see. We have. Uh, oh, we have uh, the goldfish guy coming in next week. Yeah, we have a guy who comes in. He dresses up so, as a yeah, goldfish. He, he dresses up as a goldfish. We could do goldfish balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hear that? Oh, goldfish we want to get a couple of Jesuses on the show. The one from Hollywood and the one from West Hollywood. Yeah. We can have everybody in. We have a big ball party. We'll have Jesus. We'll have goldfish. Jesus. Uh, we'll goldfish have balls. Juggling balls. Juggling. A gay Jesus, a straight Jesus, <laughs> an argument in between. If you don't know what, they, yeah. what we're talking about, you need to go back and hear our Jesus. Uh, if, I think it's episode two, our show that we did. Uh, but we didn't actually have Jesus on we the didn't. show. We, we were discussing having Jesus on the show. Jesus then is we everywhere. found out. I'm still. He is. He is. But we know for sure he's in Hollywood. <laughs> And there's another guy in West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get these swear, two together, duke it out. There's only got to be one true one. I sw- no, I, I swear. Well, we'll have him on the show. One of these days. Has he called you back? Yet? He has. Jesus hasn't called me back. Aaron carded him. I, Here's my card. Jesus did, didn't call him. I'm he, telling you, I don't think Jesus has a phone. Here's the thing: the guy's a busy guy. He's he got shouldn't a have a phone. He's followers. Jesus. It just yeah. kind of ruins my whole idea of him. Jesus, did you get him on his cell? Yeah. It just. Oh. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Susan, for coming in. Thank you, Susan, very much. Those were very good. Make it a bikini day. Make it a bikini day. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks.